What do you reach for when you have a headache or some muscle pains? Well, like millions of Americans, you probably head to the medicine cabinet for some Advil, Aleve, or maybe Motrin. Now the FDA is strengthening the warnings on this class of painkillers, and there's a lot of money on the line for a lot of well-known companies. Meg Terrell has the numbers. The FDA's stronger warnings will appear in the coming months on popular over-the-counter medicines like Motrin, Advil, and Aleve, as well as prescription drugs like Celebrex. They're in a class of painkillers known as NSAIDs, non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs. They already carried information on heart attack and stroke risk. The new warnings are more specific, saying those serious side effects can occur as early as the first few weeks of use. Your risk goes up the longer that you're on it and the higher the dose. So for most people, you know, if they're, no, if they're not getting any benefit, they don't need to take these medications to begin with. But if they're getting a benefit, then you have to weigh the benefit against the risks. NSAIDs are big business for drug companies. Pfizer's prescription medicine Celebrex drew $2.5 billion in sales last year, according to researcher IMS Health. In total, more than 100 million prescriptions for NSAIDs were dispensed. For over-the-counter drugs, the numbers are higher. Americans bought more than 275 million boxes of over-the-counter NSAIDs in 2013, amounting to $1.7 billion in sales, according to retail tracker IRI. Major makers include Johnson & Johnson, Pfizer and Bayer. Analysts say the warnings are unlikely to affect the stocks, though the FDA hopes it does affect consumer behavior. I know some people just, even though they have little pain, they'll just go ahead and use Advil. That probably might change a little bit. Probably use it less or find an alternative. That may change the way I use it, like on a normal day, maybe. The FDA says those at highest risk are people who've had a heart attack already, though it notes the risks exist for anyone. It doesn't say these drugs shouldn't be used. Its advice is to use the medicine only as directed and take the lowest effective dose for the shortest amount of time possible. For Nightly Business Report, I'm Meg Terrell.